everyone, it's Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to go over Women's Health Nurse Practitioner, a job overview. And in this video I'm going to cover what it is, their job duties, where they work, educational requirements, salary information, and the likes and dislikes of this profession. So let's talk about what a Women's Health Nurse Practitioner is. This is a registered nurse with an advanced degree with either a MSN, which is a master's degree, or a DNP, which is a doctorate. And um, they've went through a program that has focused on women's health. It's a nurse practitioner program with that concentration. These nurse practitioners provide care to women from ages of childbearing to menopause, and they focus on the reproductive and gynecological needs of women. And sometimes these nurse practitioners will treat men who have reproductive issues. So they're not just limited to women. Okay, the job duties. Normally, a nurse practitioner works under the supervision of a medical doctor. However, in some states in the United States, there are circumstances where a a nurse practitioner doesn't have to work under the supervision of a medical doctor. So if you are thinking about this profession, see if your state is one of those states. But normally they work under the supervision of a medical doctor. So their job duties include um, working with women and conducting well exams such as pap smears, breast exams. Uh, they treat and diagnose diseases such as STDs and polycystic ovarian syndrome, just to name a couple. Uh, they order diagnostic testing, provide education in family planning, menopause, and other reproductive health. They prescribe medications to treat illnesses, provide prenatal and postnatal care. Some facilities or clinics will have the woman health nurse practitioner see the pregnant mother up to 30 weeks, and generally after the 30 weeks, the OB doctor will take care of seeing the mother. And a lot of people have this question, do women health nurse practitioners deliver the babies? Generally, no. That is your certified nurse midwife or your OB doctor who delivers the baby. So if you're interested in that, um, I just want to let you know that there are some dual programs out there throughout the United States at some nursing programs where they let you obtain a woman health nurse practitioner degree and a certified nurse midwife together. So that is really interesting. If you're wanting to go into women's health, but you also want to deliver babies, might want to be something you consider. And lastly, um, they perform uh, minor surgical procedures. Okay, so where do they work? Typically, these nurse practitioners work in clinics like family planning, OB clinics, health departments. They also work in private practices, hospitals, and long-term care facilities. Pretty much anywhere where women will need treatment for any health issues. Educational requirements. How do you become one? Number one, you must be a registered nurse with a BSN, which is a bachelor's degree. Then you need to complete a master's MSN or a doctorate program, DNP, and that has an asterisk by it, and I'll tell you about it here in a second. And you need to go with a program that is specifically concentrating on women's health. There are specific programs for the nurse practitioner to become one. Now, starting in 2025, anyone who is not a nurse practitioner, this isn't just women health nurse practitioners, it's all nurse practitioners, even CRNAs, advanced practice nurses, will have to go and complete a doctorate program. No longer will the master's program be offered. And this does not include already practicing nurse practitioners. If you're already a nurse practitioner, you'll just be grandfathered in and you, can, you won't have to go back for a doctorate. It's just the new candidates. And lastly, you'll have to pass a board exam to become board certified. So how much do they make? They make around $80,000 per year. This was um, by payscale.com. It takes all of the women health nurse practitioners, regardless of experience, where they live, things like that, what specialty they work in, takes all their salaries, adds it up, and divides it. So experience, location, stuff like that can vary on how much you're going to make, but that was the average. Now, what do they like and dislike about their profession? Typically, they report that they like the autonomy. They like being able to see what the patient needs and they can go ahead and order it. They don't have to go through a doctor like how most nurses um, who are just regular nurses would have to go through a doctor to get a prescript to get an order for something. They love working in a specialized field that they are passionate about, which is women's health. They can solely concentrate on that. 
Lastly, they love taking care of women's needs and building long-lasting relationships with these people. So they really enjoy those things. Dislikes, the job can be emotionally draining. And it goes to the second point. A lot of people report that it's hard seeing women get diagnosed with breast cancer, ovarian cancer, also seeing women having fertility problems, can't get pregnant, and things like that. So it can be really hard in those regards. And next, the, lastly, the jobs are competitive um, compared to other nurse practitioner specialties. Okay, that is the job overview about a women's health nurse practitioner. Be sure to check out my other specialty videos about nurse practitioner programs, and please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel.